Hey! Hello! Listen to me! Oi! Right, now I've got your attention, and now you're done with your boring biography lesson. Best I introduce you to Terry Deary, who is not to be confused with Terry Fox. It seems Terry here is about to start writing his new whole history book. I think it's his fifth. This one's about Vikings, but he's never actually met a Viking. So what are you going to write about? I don't know. But if you had met a Viking, I suppose it could have gone something like this. Are you really as vicious as history says? Yes. Have you ever heard the thing called the Blood Eagle? Yes, I have, and um, I don't want it happening to me, so... <laughs> He probably would have been able to write all his humorous history books. Viking, when did you invade us again? 79 group. Ah, oh, thank you. And all his other books as well. Harbour History's life began one day when Deary's publisher asked him who he wanted to write an informative, hysterical joke book. Hello, Deary. Why, hello, sir. Would you like to write a hysterical, historical book? Hmm. Where did the French buy their guillotines? Hmm? I don't know. Anyone? In the shopping centre! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I can do that. In the end, the joke book became a fact book with jokes included. Between 1993 and the present day, Terry Deary has written a massive 50 horrible history books and nearly 200 books in total. Really? Yes, yeah. really. really. <laughs> you might think that some of his early works have become outdated, but the fact is, they haven't. In 2007, Deary re-released the early ones, including the Vicious Vikings, with extra information, and they're just as popular as the originals. You might think... I just want to say it's still available in good bookstores. Nationwide. Uh, website address. Yeah, yeah, I'll see what you do. Um, uh, oh, okay. Um, you might think that his life consists of research and writing and things like that, but it doesn't. He creates exhibits about, you guessed it, horrible histories. And he also presents programs like. I'd like to tell you the story of the Viking Blood Eagle. This was a torture that the Vikings said they used to use. The story goes that they captured King Edmund of the English, and he said, let's make peace. They said, don't be daft, we're going to kill you. So they took him and they tied him to a tree, and they filled him full of arrows. But they didn't kill him because they didn't hit his head or his heart. So they pulled the arrows out, <laughs> turned him round, and tied him to the tree the other way. And then they took a knife and they cut his ribs away from his spine, reached in, pulled out his lungs, and spread them across his back. This was a torture called the Blood Eagle, and it killed him. But the unusual thing about this story was that they then cut Edmund's head off, the head bounced along the ground, and started to cry out, Help me! Help me! Help me! It was a bit late then, but because of this miracle, Edmund was made a saint, and he was buried in a place called Bury St. Edmunds. What a horrible story. He often writes and appears in the TV show based around his books, Horrible Histories, as wacky characters. 
terrible Tudors, gorgeous Georgians, Siamese too, as small Victorians, woeful wars, ferocious fights, stingy castles, daring knights, horrors that defy description, cutthroat cults, or bull Egyptian, vicious Vikings, cruel crime, punishment from ancient times, Roman rotten, rank and ruthless, cavemen, savage, fierce and toothless, groovy Greeks, brainy sages, mean and mis with middle ages, gory stories, we do that, and your host a talking rat, the past is no longer a mystery, welcome to... Horrible Histories And above all, Messinus was a wise and a noble man who only ever beat his slaves when it was absolutely necessary. He will be sorely missed by us all. And now, for the fight! Yay! Fight! 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 Go on! Fight! Oh, it's a fight! Why? Oh, it's the latest Roman thing. You get your two favourite slaves to fight to the death in front of your graveside. What have for? Oh, it's very noble. The loser's like a sort of sacrifice to the dead man. You know, keep his soul company. But most thing is, it's really good fun to watch. So this is catching on then? Oh, yeah. A friend of mine died last month. Had three fights. That means three more funerals and three fights at each one. That makes nine funerals. I tell you, it's been wall-to-wall -wall funerals for weeks now. Brilliant. Which one was that? Um, Marcus. We are gathered here today to mark the passing of Marcus. He was a good slave. I can't believe all this. Oh, this is nothing. My uncle Centillus had it written into his will that he wanted a fight to the death between two beautiful women. Seriously? Yeah. His funeral's in ten minutes. It's disgusting. Can I come? Yeah. You've got to pretend to be sad until the fight starts. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. No problem. Unfortunately, Davy won't be writing any more. But that doesn't mean he won't be busy. Ooh. He's hoping to create horrible history experience yeah. in domes such as the Eden Project with no 20th century items, Ooh. only authentic historical objects. Yeah. Well, thanks for um, watching our little video. Thank you. And buy the books. Buy the books. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Did that sound <laughs> 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 You remind me of a hawk.